Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. It is a magnanimous Monday in my world. If you're not seeing this video on a Monday, I hope it's a good day in your life, whatever day of the week it is. But in my world, it's a magnanimous Monday. That's such a mouthful. Mouthful magnanimous Monday. Wow, that was... <laughs> okay, enough of that. Today, I want you to get ready with me while I try out a brand new product to me. It's been around for a little bit. Um, it's the NYX Professional Makeup, the Marshmallow Primer. You've probably seen this around on the TikTok and on the YouTube, and I've been dying to get my hands on this particular product. Um, several reasons why. I, I really am a huge fan of the NYX product line. I love just about every product I've ever tried from them, I think for except for one, which was a brow product, and um, I might actually have to give that one a second try. But I've been dying to try this marshmallow primer. There's a lot of hype surrounding it, and I don't think you can go wrong with the NYX products. Like I said, they're drugstore priced. They're great quality. Um, very rarely have I ever been let down. So, okay, we're going to go ahead and get started. I think there's only a few products in this entire video. We're going to do my whole face that are not NYX products. And that one will be, um, the eyeshadow. I'm going to use my Morphe, my big Morphe palette for that. Okay. So let's go ahead and jump right in. The first thing we're going to do is open up the marshmallow primer. Now, one thing I want to let you know is this is not like a marshmallow. Let's go roast marshmallows. And I don't think my camera focused in on that. There you go. Um, what it means is it's made with marshmallow root. So it's not actually like a marshmallow, like let's go get a bag of marshmallows and go hog wild or let's go roast marshmallows or, oh my gosh, marshmallows are a dangerous thing. It's nothing like that. It's um, a lot more benign than that because, you know, I mean, marshmallows, who doesn't love a marshmallow? I mean, crazy, right? Especially this time of the year, it calls to mind that song. It's marshmallow world in the wind. You know what I'm saying? I better not sing or I'll get a copyright, right? <laughs> Just joking. The other thing about this product is it says that it has 10 skin loving ingredients in this primer. So not only is it working as a primer to set you up for your makeup, it's also got some skin loving ingredients in it. And who doesn't want that? It's like way more bang for your buck. I think this product was $12. I'm not quite sure. I'll put it down in the comments, but it was not an offensively expensive product. So it has a little pump on here like this. Ooh. <laughs> it does look like, uh, was it marshmallow cream that you use? has like a sweet scent to it but it's it's not overly scented oh my goodness it says that you can use this alone or as a primer I guess you could use it alone because it's got a lot of skincare ingredients in it if I had my reading glasses on right now I could tell you what is in it besides the marshmallow root I might add that down below in the comments after I film the video and I can read it that is a lovely lovely primer I love the way that feels that is very very nice Definitely gonna be seeing this one on repeat. I can tell that already. Okay, let that dry down a little bit. And now I'm gonna go with my Beauty Blender and I'm gonna use my favorite foundation by NYX, which is the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop. This is a full coverage foundation. And when I first tried this, um, I was a little skeptical because I don't normally like a matte foundation. However, this product really, really surprised me. So I'm gonna go ahead and like this. I'm gonna look over here a little bit so I can see well. Ooh, and this is just gliding right over that marshmallow primer, which I really am liking. Yeah, it, there's a little bit of a lingering, like a sweet scent to it, but it's it's not bad. I, I, I actually kind of like it. Feeling very marshmallowy. I mean, who doesn't love a marshmallow, right? I mean, kids love them, people of all ages love them, you know, and it's Christmas time. Well, we love them at Valentine or Valentine's. We make a lot of marshmallow things. Christmas time, Halloween. I mean, who in the world could get upset by a marshmallow, right? And I think it's great that NYX is using marshmallow root in this product that they're bringing us. I mean, it's it's quite a it's a it's a lovely metaphor in my opinion. Ooh, I love the way that that is laying on the skin. Very very nice. I'm going to get back in with a little bit of the, um, the NYX Born to Glow Radiant Concealer because I got, got some issues right here. Normally I would put this on under my foundation, but I really wanted to give that primer a little bit of a chance right there. We're going to, oh Lord, I put too much on there. That's okay. I'm going to go ahead and blend this in with my, I'm going to put a little bit up there like that. It's a good thing about this beauty blender here is I can just turn the blender we don't get too much on there. Blend that in right there. That's a nice concealer, except for, you know how I feel about a sponge tip applicator. 
but it is a very nice concealer. Like I said, I am definitely team NYX products because um, they really don't let you down. Portable. Okay, there we go. We got a little bit of that foundation worked in. Okay, I'm going to use my big Morphe palette. This is the Morphe um, 35T Dope Taupe. <laughs> and I absolutely love this Morphe palette. It is, this palette is everything. I did do a Get Ready With Me video using this particular palette. And I don't feel bad about doing that here simply because I'm wanting to focus on the Marshmallow Primer and uh, more or less the NYX products. But I, I do not have a NYX eyeshadow palette. Yeah, you know, I'll be getting me one. You can guarantee that that is happening. Excuse me over here. I put my brushes way too far over here and I can't get a hold of them. So just place hold. There we go. And I can edit that out. I'm working on my editing. It's a process. It's a process. Okay, so I'm going to use my Mary Kay brushes. I love the Mary Kay brushes. Um, they have a mixture of synthetic and um, human hair. That's not the word I'm trying to use. A mixture of synthetic and real hair brushes is what I'm trying to say. And um, I love that because certain brushes you can use for certain things and other brushes you can use for other things. Like sometimes you really need a natural hair brush for whatever it is you're trying to implement or whatever look it is you're going for. Okay, enough about that. Okay, I really love this palette. I'm going to go with a little bit of this. Um, what is this? Uh, I think it's called, it's called, I can't say the word or I will get in trouble. Um, I'll call it bad behind and you can go ahead and fill that in <laughs> i'm not saying the word and getting in any trouble over here on youtube get people upset with me if i use a, a bad word but it's not me you guys it's it's the palette it's the palette it's not jenny jenny didn't say that word trust me okay and then i'm going to do my actual lid with um i can't say this word either uh, b-o-m-b dot com the bomb dot com i don't know if that's a word you can even say in this day and age <laughs> lord i don't need the atf after me so jenny said that word on here you don't gotta watch anymore you just never know what you're gonna get in trouble for right and i want to do everything that i'm supposed to do and really really love these morphe eyeshadows like with a passion okay but what i am gonna do is i'm gonna add in a little bit of um from the, sorry, I got to get a better setup in here. Um, the one thing that that palette does not have is a really light highlighting shade. And I really want to highlight it very lightly because it is kind of dark. And, um, oh, look, my nails are matching. We are all, we are all aesthetic here today. I love that. Um, so I'm going to use my Naked 2 palette um, from Urban Decay's because it has a good, um, did I say Urban Decay's with an S? Urban Decay, because there's one. We don't need to add an S on that. People from certain parts of the country add S's on to certain words. If you know, you know. <laughs> I don't do that. Okay, so there's just like a nice um, highlight shade in here. I just kind of want to carve out underneath the brow bone there. In fact, I'm going to do it like right here. We're just going to carve that out right there. Do you like marshmallows? There are so many things you can do with a marshmallow. You know, Thanksgiving, you put them on top of sweet potato casseroles, um, s'mores. I mean, I mean, a marshmallow is a very versatile thing. Who would think that they are as full of sugar as what they are? I mean, how in the heck do you make a marshmallow? Isn't it just where you take sugar and you heat it to such a level that it breaks down and then it's kind of formed into like a sticky goo and then you can just kind of you know, the bag says jet puff marshmallow, so I assume that there's some kind of air mechanism that's blown into the marshmallow substance. If anybody knows how the heck you make a marshmallow, please let me know down in the comments because I think I've said marshmallow 300 times in this video. We can actually play a drinking game. Every time we say marshmallow, take a sip. Okay, I'm blending that out right there. I really like the way this eyeshadow is looking. And this again is my Mary Kay blending brush. This is a newer brush to the Mary Kay um, brush set that they have. They added this one and it is a phenomenal blending brush. It's just got enough bristles and they're just tight enough that it does a job of blending, but they're not, if you ever get a blending brush, it's so light that it kind of doesn't even help you blend. You have to blend twice as long as what you would if the, if the bristles had been packed tighter, more 
dense, more dense, I guess we could say. More dense, because yeah, that's a good word, right? Okay, enough on that. All right, and I absolutely am loving the way my skin feels with this marshmallow primer on. I'm not even kidding you. It is a really good feel. And I'm gonna tell you what, that foundation went on like a dream. And I think if you used any foundation with that particular NYX Marshmallow Primer, that you would have the same effect. I just kind of wanted to stay in the same product line to see what result I would get. But I, I am absolutely, absolutely a fan. So far, so good. Excuse me, drop the mascara. And we're back. Okay, so I'm gonna take the, um, this is the NYX um, Lift and Snatch eyebrow pencil. Have you ever used this? It's a really nice uh, crash a bang. I'm like the Kool-Aid mom over here with everything banging. Let me use this mirror here so I can see a little bit. But this is, um, can you see the point on this? It's a really nice eyebrow print for that. And you can just feather in nice little natural strokes in your eyebrows. It's really great if you have sparse eyelashes. This will just make them look so much fuller and uh, youthful, I think. You know, you look at the young folks and they've got such nice full brows, you know? And that's kind of what this pen does right here. See what I'm doing? I'm just drawing little flicks, just little flicks. You don't want to draw a straight, harsh line with this. I know it's easy to want to do that, but don't do that because it won't look real natural. Just want to flick right on here. And you know what else I've noticed? If I get any of those crazy white hairs coming out my eyebrows, you just apply this a little bit on the top and it kind of camouflages it, which I like that as well. But do you see how much fuller they look already? Just by adding in a few of those little strokes like that, just little feather like strokes. So like Bob Ross, just a few little feather strokes here. Everybody needs a friend. Did you ever watch Bob Ross? Oh gosh, the joy of painting. He's got the most relaxing voice like ever. I love me some Bob Ross. I wish I could paint like Bob Ross. Hope you know who I'm talking about and I'm not telling my age too much. <laughs> it's like on public television all the time. Okay, and this is not a NYX product. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Liquid Liner. I love this product. And I'm gonna go ahead and use this in brown. And it's also got that same kind of a point. Um, this is what I have been using the heck out of this eyeliner. I've got it in this brown and I've got it in like a, like a charcoal color, which I love absolutely love the way this is and it's such a it's got a long point on it which I think I've told you before if you're not good at lining the upper lid you just you just lay the pen down and connect the dots it's a nice line it's great for making a little flick here on the end because it has that long point and you know the color distributes so nicely because it's it's very wet the pen is you don't have to press hard to try to get it to come out like you do and with a pen, or I mean a pencil rather. Sometimes when I'm trying to do my eyes and talk at the same time, I say the wrong words. I'm gonna put just a little bit under here. I normally don't like to do that. I say it pulls the eye down, but I feel like I don't look awake if I don't line the bottom just, just a little bit. Just a little bit. There we go. There we go. Better, better, better. I'm gonna hang on to that mirror because I can't see in this camera at the same time because I have to wear reading glasses at this age. This product, I have used so much of it. I am getting ready to pick me up another one of these. This is the NYX On The Rise. It's called a Lash Booster. And I originally thought it was kind of like a primer, but I've noticed you can use this alone or you can use it and then apply your mascara on top. It, I love this stuff so much. You'll see why. You'll see why. Let me put this on. I'm gonna get a little bit closer so you can see. Um, maybe a little bit more of the color. It just, it just really lifts your lashes, separates them, gets some pigment going, and it's got some lash loving benefits in it as well. I, I really am so excited that I found this. And like I said, I've used it so much, I absolutely need to pick up another tube of this because I don't wanna be without it. And I've used this particular booster with other mascaras, and uh, it really, really helps the performance of all mascaras. I'll be doing that again today with another L'Oreal mascara I have. But this, this Lash Booster, I love it. And it, it's not waterproof or anything like that. It doesn't smudge or smear, but when you go to take it off at the end of the day, it washes off like a dream. There's no pulling, no tugging. It's not down your face. And I'm gonna follow it up with a coat of the Unlimited 
This is the L'Oreal Unlimited Mascara. It has, this is the one that has that, like that funky wand here, so you can, I don't know, like I guess kind of, I don't really particularly use it. Um, maybe some people do and like that, but it's not something I really use. But if you need it, it's there. And you would just go like this. Gives you a little more control over the wand. You would think I would use it more, being that I can't see up close without my glasses on, but I guess I just kind of feel my way. And I'm only gonna do a coat on the top because I really don't feel like I need one on the bottom with that lash booster that we just put on. So I don't want it to look too heavy on the bottom because then I think it looks a little too spidery. You know what I mean, like the spidery lashes. The, the spidery lashes have a place in this world, um, but I just don't think it's for me right here with this look. So we're just gonna go like that. Isn't that pretty? Look at what it does to the lashes, really. It really lifts and separates them. And the good thing about it is it lasts all day. A lot of times you apply a mascara and it's like, oh, it's they're big, they're beautiful, they're wonderful, they've got great pigment. Like three hours later, it seems as though they either smear off, smudge off, or it just kind of loses its pigment. And you're like, oh, sad face, you know, I don't love that too much. But this one, it will really last throughout the day. Um, I don't think I've ever worked out on this with this booster on. I probably have but I have only good things to say about it, without a doubt. And I don't have a NYX blush yet, <laughs> but I'm definitely gonna get my hands on that. So I'm gonna use the e.l.f. This is one of the new blushes that just came out and they the primer infused blushes. And this is in this shade, always punchy, it's always punchy. And this is a brand new, one of my Mary Kay brushes. I have it open on the other side because I have had these for so long. And these, these um, e.l.f. blushes, the primer infused blushes, is that what I call them? Primer infused blushes are really nice as well. Really nice as well. You want to talk about a good price point. These, these, this whole elf line is good. I did another video on that, if I remember. I'll insert that up here, that card. So you can go ahead and look at that. That um, that whole line that came out, I think it was either middle of summer or spring. I can't quite remember what it was, but um, definitely love that. And this product is the Essence um, 8 Hour Matte Liquid Lip. It's a little bit dark. Oh girl, she is dark. Look at this. She's dark, but I don't know if this is actually going to last on here for eight hours. I haven't really experimented with this, so maybe it's dark and it's going to just fade out and um, dry down to a different color. We'll see though. Mm, quite dark. Ooh, geez Louise. Mm, oh my. Careful with that. Oh yeah, be careful with that. This is very liquidy, very liquidy. And she's on the teeth. <laughs> I have really good teeth. I have to remember to focus my wand on the outside of my lips. Sometimes I get carried away and I get it in there and I get it all over my teeth. Here's a tip you'll only learn here and uh, it's not very ladylike, but if you don't want to get the lipstick on your teeth <laughs> and that pulls the lipstick out from the inner part of your lip onto your finger, so hopefully you're not gonna get as much transfer onto your teeth like I just did. Okay, definitely got it off there. What do you think? What do you think? I am really pleased with the way that this is all panning out. Um, I'll take my hair down. Um, this primer has really done a number for this foundation so far. I will put an update down in the comments and let you know how it wore all day. I have a really good feeling about it. I've seen so many good things about it. I love the way it feels. Um, the foundation is playing really nice. I'm um, going to pull my hair back up for the day because I'm warm and I still haven't finished up my chores for the day. So I'm going to put the hair back up. But what do you think? Do you love it? Let me know down in the comments. Have you used the NYX Marshmallow Primer yet? If you have, let me know what your experience was with it. Did you love it? Would you buy it again? Also, have you ever tried the whole family of NYX products? Love them. If you haven't got your hands on them, ask Santa Claus for some or go and get yourself some. There's probably a lot of sales. This is sale season for skincare and cosmetics. You have probably already seen that if you've seen anything on social media, everything is on sale right now in the skincare and cosmetics industry, and that makes it great for Christmas time. So I want to thank you if you've made it to the end of this video. I appreciate your support. Please, if you haven't hit the subscribe button yet, please hit the subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications so that you'll know the next time I post a video just like this. And I hope you enjoy your magnanimous Monday.